this video is about how to put together uh, matching things. So this is a set of hats and booties. So you can see they tied that together. That's one that way that you can uh, match up things. Another way for booties, you can stuff one booty inside the other. Um, someone did this here, that's okay too. That might slip out a little bit, but that will still work. For the knit fabric booties, again, we can stuff one inside the other. When we go to pack them, if we need to pull those out, we will do that, but that way we don't get any lone booties or anything. Um, this person here, just to tie their booties together, that's another way of doing it. A lot of times we'll just leave those two tied together. And then also, if you just want to stuff the booties inside the hat, um, that will keep them secure. We do separate those and then we'll put those as a matching set when they go out. Sometimes people like to make a matching bib and burp cloth and sometimes even a receiving blanket. If you just kind of stack those together like that, a bib and a burp, and um, if you have more than one set, just stack them like that. We pull those out and then we'll put those into a layout and kind of match them that way. And then someone next makes sweater sets and they have a sweater and hat and booty and they just tied it all together. We usually just leave that together and pack it as one so nothing comes apart. And if all else fails and you don't want to uh, tie it together, you can just put it in a separate Ziploc bag and uh, sometimes we just leave them in there so that nothing gets separated at all too. Please don't use any pins to fasten anything together. Um, we do have to take all those out and we want to make sure we don't accidentally leave one of those in there so that it might uh, stick a baby. But that's just some of the ways that you can fasten sets together.